kids morning parents i hope you guys are doing good because i know i am doing good i hope the kids and the parents have a great week even though the fashions of corona are, are skyrocketing at this moment but we stay in hope it is their time again to get down with god so before we do everything can the kids please settle down so that i can be able to pray Lord, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are mighty. Lord, there's none like you upon this earth. Lord, you are a merciful God. You are an amazing God. You created the heavens and the earth. We thank you, Lord, for the food that you put on our tables each day, Lord. We thank you for the shelter, Lord, that you provide over our heads. You are an amazing God. You are a faithful God. We come to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The topic for today is Jesus at the center of everything. We must make Jesus the center of everything because he gives us life. He is the son of man and God gave us this life. So we must try by all means to put Jesus in everything we do. Whether you go to work in the morning, you pray first. When you come back, you pray again. Or maybe if you're at work or if you're at school and you find time, you must also pray. Because when we make Jesus the center of everything, our life just flourishes. It becomes everything that we want it to be. So making Jesus the center of everything will make everything okay at the end. It is now time for praise and worship. I'm going to be playing you guys two songs. The first song is Jesus is Very Wonderful. The second one is I've Got the Joy. I hope the kids and the parents both enjoy the songs. So can everybody in the house stand up as we're about to praise and worship God? Stand up, let the kids run around, let the kids jump up and down. It's fine, it's okay. Let them, it's now time for praise and worship. Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful Oh wonderful love Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love is very wonderful Oh wonderful love So Jesus love is very wonderful Jesus love 
Alhamdulillah, oh man, shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to Mika. Shout out to Tando. Shout out to Black Two and yeah. Shout out to every everybody. That's my friend. Bye. I miss you guys. Welcome to Kids Zone Has Talent. It's now time for the work. I hope everybody is prepared. I said it's now time for the work. I hope everybody is prepared. I hope the kids and the parents enjoyed the two songs which I just played for them. Now it's time to go into the word. Um, I'm Khatebe will be sharing today's word. I hope um, can everybody just open their minds and open their hearts for Mom Khatebe to share the word for today. I hope you all enjoy it. Good morning, Kids Zone families. It's so great to have you joining us again as we gather to come here to thank God for giving us another day, for blessing us with another day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let me also acknowledge our pastors, Pastor Morris, Pastor Joyce, Pastor T, and Pastor N. We thank you for always guiding us through as the Kids Zone. We appreciate your guidance. We appreciate your prayers and your support and the word of encouragement that you're sharing with the Kids Zone at all times. We really appreciate your presence in our lives. We, Before we start with this session today, I would like us to pray together. Can we bow and pray? Thank you. Heavenly Father, we bow before your presence this morning. We thank you for blessing us with another day, O oh Lord. We give glory to you, Lord, for us being here to be able to worship and praise you, Lord. We don't take this time for granted. We thank your mercies and your glory that are renewable for us each and every morning. We pray, therefore, Lord, that will you please prepare our mind this morning as we are about to hear your word, Lord. Help us to become the doers of the word, Lord, not just the hearers of the word, that we practice what we're hearing from your word. We give you glory, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. I know that some of you have gone back to school. We continue to pray that you are being protected and being safe. Please also stay safe and protect our, protect yourselves. Use the sanitizers. Wash your hands. Don't, for, don't forget to wash your hands at all times. And to keep a, a, a social distance between your friends and even with your teachers at school. It's also very important to listen to what your teachers are telling you and how they're teaching you to what you need to do to protect yourselves while you're at school. Thank you. We'll also continue to pray for you as parents at home. Today, I want us to talk about Jesus being at the center of everything that we do. In so doing, can we please read together the book of John 15 verse 4. I will read from NIV. It says, Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruits by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruits unless you remain in me. We are reminded here by the word of God when God was giving instructions to Moses in the book of Numbers when he asked him to go out there and count the children of Israel. He said to him, go and count each and every person in, in Israel. 
it's so important to God that we are his children and he wants to know each and every one of us. So he wants us to be counted so that he knows about us. So Moses went out and counted. And in the instruction that God has given him, he says you must place them in different camps. In this case, we might say we've been placed in different families or different tribes. He says there should be a certain tribe. He gave the names. He gave, he gave him the names of which tribes. He said these tribes must be in the north side and there's another tribe that must be on the south side and another tribe in the east side and another one on the west side and he said at the center of it all i want to have my tabernacle be put at the center which would be the place where we go and worship god and we know that children of israel that is where they used to go and, and worship god it was important then and it's still very important even now that we put God at the center of everything that we do, that we go and worship God at that center. Even with you now that you're going back to school, remember that every morning before you go out from your homes, pray and ask God to be at the center of everything that you do. Put Jesus at the center of the things that you are doing to be guided by him and, and let him lead you as you go out to school to stay safe and be protected. It is very important that we do that because he's in charge. He's in control of our lives. He has created us. He knows us. And he wants us to remain in him so that we can. he can also be with us in everything that we do. I know that sometimes we try and want to do things our own way. We want to control our lives. But we know that when we start doing that, everything does, doesn't go the way that we want us. We want things to go. But if we put God and allow him to take charge of our lives, we know that everything will go according to his glory and according to his way. So today I want us to be reminded that every morning and every night or all the time that we acknowledge God, we put him, we surrender to him, we surrender our whole self to him and we say, Lord, lead us, guide us, let us be guided by you because you know our needs. And if we allow him to run our lives, he can do a better job than what we can do if we do it ourselves. Let's do that. Let us remember that he is at the center of everything. Call upon his name when you need him. Call upon his name when, he's, when you're at school. Let him be at the center of everything that we do. There's a word that also reminds us from the Bible that says, Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guide you from the evil ones. So that's why we need him to be in control and be able to guide us in everything that we do. So let us pray and thank him for guiding us and also ask him to always guide us. So today I want us to pray and let us please bow and close our eyes and say, Dear God, I want you to be at the center of everything that we do in our lives. I want you to be at the center on things that we do. Guide our path, O oh Lord. Guide our ways, O oh Lord. Help us to believe in your word, Jesus Christ. Let us be able to learn from you. Teach us, Lord, your words. Teach us every day how we should walk and the path that we should take. Be the light on our feet, Lord, as we walk, go to school, go to all the things that we do. Guide us throughout the whole week. We want you to be at the center of it all, Jesus. In your name, Lord, we pray and we thank you. Amen. We thank God Khadewe for giving us today's word. I hope uh, the word lifted our spirits and I hope it got us in a, in a good mood for Sunday. And putting, putting Jesus first is very important. Putting him at the center of everything we do is also very important. We must involve Jesus in everything that we do. We must inform him of the, of the big and also the little things that happen in our lives. So putting God at the center means that we, we tell him everything, whether you're about to start school, whether you're about to do a new business project, we must, also, we must always involve God in it. Because when we put them in the center, everything will, will work out for the best. It is now time for me to close, so can we please close our eyes? Lord, I come to you again, Martin and Jesus Christ. Lord, you're great. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, it's not like you have promised. Lord, we thank you for today's word. 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 Thank you for today
to be on my to-do list and let you up on this earth. Amen. I hope everybody had a good Sunday. And I, because, because I know I had a good Sunday. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys next week Sunday. Hope you enjoyed the Sunday. Have a great afternoon.